is the 20th of August yeah, 2018. 18. 18. It's a new week. Yeah, man. Monday. Uh-huh. Yes, guys. I'm JR. And I'm JK. And we have. J- Wait, oh, where's. She's. Okay. Where's, she where's was Joy? here, but. Okay. She was. Jo- Joy, we started the podcast. Are you coming? Okay, she'll probably join us. Yeah, maybe. yeah, probably. Sorry. She, she's she's doing her makeup. <laughs> yeah, or maybe knows? if she's not doing her makeup, makeup. she can make up a story. You can and be- tell us or an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know, we don't know, we don't yeah, know. Man. But uh, after last week's episode, Joey decided to go take some few classes on um, because we had an issue, okay? Like we said, if she's not going to say sorry mm-hmm. in, in her mother Meru, tongue, yes. in Meru, like she's not joining us, alright? Yeah. <laughs> Totally. That was all on JK by the day. I didn't say that. I'm a very nice person, okay? So, right now, yes. she's doing her classes <laughs> her <cat>. in Menlu. <laughs> <laughs> and I know yeah. <laughs> you're listening to this. Um, Joy, don't worry. Yeah. We got you. We got, we got, you. got, you. got you. This is what happens in the studio and you're not in the studio. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, you, yeah, enjoy. you enjoy never want listen. to miss. Okay, yeah, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> enjoy the listen. Hi guys, it's a new week. Last week we were doing diversity. Yeah. But now we decided let's narrow it down to a specific area. Yes. Let's narrow it down to a country. Yes. You know, and today we are talking about patriotism. Oh. But mm. we're going to start with the last segment. Yeah. <laughs> let's break some protocol, right? <laughs> let's, yeah. start let, let, one, let's, huh? let's start from the last one. Let's start from the land with the Jason so that you know what patriotism is and what pat- being patriotic means. Jason. From Google. Yes. Uh, patriotic is an adjective and mm. it means having or expressing devotion to and vigorous support for one's country. Mm-hmm. So all the activists yes. out there yes. that are doing it for a good cause. Yes. Kuna watu tunajua ni kirea tu mnataka mnataka watu waone na wasikie tumewajua. Yeah. But those who are doing it for a good cause yes. uh, uh, the likes of Boniface Mwangi yes. we we salute you. Yeah, dude. we appreciate you. Dude, we appreciate man. you. Yeah, you're um, doing good work. Yeah. So, and then patriotism, what you're talking about. So, patriotism or national pride mm. is the ideology of love and devotion to a homeland yes. and a sense of alliance mm. with other citizens who share the same values. Yes. This attachment can be a combination of many different features yes. relating to one's own homeland, including yes. ethnic, cultural, political, or historical aspects. Wow. Patriotism is the devotion yes. to your homeland. To your homeland, where you come from. Where you come from yes. is your devotion. So joy as much as you know, we're bashing you because you're not. But in you're this so patriotic. Office. You went back home. Yeah, right? you're so patriotic. In all of between all of us, we feel like we have done. We're sinners. We are sinners. <laughs> you're doing yourself a very big favor, favor going, back going back home. home. So and all that, yeah. patriotism is when you devote yourself uh, to your homeland. The love where, for the yeah, country. The for love the king for your of country. country yeah. The patriotism is not only, you know, when it comes to being political. Yes. That is why no, it's not. activists who turn up when there's only a political issue. Yeah. They got thrown to, to well, like prison. Yeah, you, you yes. know, yeah. you are just choosing an area to concentrate on, on yes, that yeah. is in your interest. Yes. But there are people who like go on it culturally. Yeah, ethnic, culturally, yeah. You true. know, historical, yeah. you know, yes. if there is a monument that needs, that is going to be taken down, it, mm. it means something like for the country. Like this not going down, right? Yeah. Yes. I remember there was a case in Nairobi where yes. they needed to move like a monument or something or a sculpture mm. and it was a big issue. Mm. It is out of that patriotism, you know, some su- such such things are landmarks. Like the Gorma here fans are very like patriotic to the tomboy statue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you seen those guys <laughs> pull tantrums hey. when it comes? Like when they win, oh. that is the place where like they assemble. So it is hey. very patriotic. <laughs> Yeah, so patriotism is not only political, yes, yeah. so don't get it twisted that when yeah. you talk of patriotism, you start thinking politically. Like political nah, stuff, yeah. sometimes you look at the culture. We need to preserve our, our culture yeah. as well. Patriotism can go all around. It's yeah. being devoted to one's homeland. Homeland, yeah. where you come from, your language and all that. That means, you know, you'll also cherish like your mother tongue mm-hmm. so that you make sure that it doesn't go extinct yeah. by you learning it yourself. So yeah. you're all that your Kikuyus and Luos, you know, uh, all these different tribes, the Masai, uh, the Meru. You guys, you're supposed to like be, be be patriotic, and that like brings us to like a very important uh, a part of this. Because 
coded the segment. coded segment and the coded segment today i want to give like a reference point from the word of god of how patriotism like is portrayed in the word of god mm. and today we are reading uh, you know the word of god from the book of nehemiah this is uh, an engineer by the name of nehemiah and nehemiah is in captivity actually mm-hmm. but he is brought news by the brother mm. and we can just go ahead and read it. Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 1 he says the words of Nehemiah the son of Hekaliah and it came to pass in the month of Chislev in the 20th year as I was in Shushan the palace so he was in the palace uh-huh. yeah. he was working in the palace mm-hmm. you know that Hanani one of my brethren came and he and certain men from Judah and asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped which were left of the captivity and concerning Jerusalem mm. so the brothers come mm-hmm. and then he inquires of you know the state of the nation the state mm. of his country back at home in judah mm. and verse 3 says and they said unto me the remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach mm-hmm. the wall of jerusalem also is broken down and the gates thereof are burned with fire so he is given like um like a breakdown of what is going on you know you know the wall has been broken down your people are being laughed at they're being reproached the neighboring countries for says and it came to pass when i heard these words that i sat down and wept and mourned certain days and fasted and prayed hey <laughs> okay that's serious that's completely serious what? so this guy wept he mourned mm-hmm. not only one days but certain days mm-hmm. and fasted and then prayed my friend Verse five said, and I said, I beseech thee, O Lord of heaven, the great and terrible God, that keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love Him and observe the commandments. Let thine ear now be attentive and uh, and thine eyes open, that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant, which I pray before thee now, day and night, for the children of Israel, thy servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee, both I and my father's house have sinned, and we have dealt very corruptly against thee mm-hmm. and have not kept the commandments not the statutes nor the judgments which thou commandest thy servant Moses remember i beseech thee the word that thou commandest thy servant Moses saying if we transgress i will scatter you abroad among the nations but if i but if ye turn unto me and keep my commandments and do them though they are war of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the heaven yet will i gather them from thence mm-hmm. i will bring them unto the place that i have chosen to set my my name mm-hmm. there now these are thy servants and thy people whom thy has redeemed by the great power and by thy strong hand o lord i beseech thee let now then ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant mm-hmm. and to the prayer of thy servants who desire to fear thy name and prosper i pray thee thy servant this day and grant him mercy in the sight of this man for i was the king's capera mm-hmm. so like this guy mm. hears the news of his country and then he goes to god in prayer and mourning and fasting and then you know he tells god we have sinned against you we've been corrupt and not only to ourselves mm-hmm. but towards you mm-hmm. yourself you know and then he reminds god of the promises that he gave because this was a manifestation of what jeremiah had, had prophesied about you know uh, they're going to be taken to captivity for over 70 years and so when he receives this news you know he starts to cry and to weep before god because of the love that he has for the country yeah you know that the corruption that they're done and all those kind of things he said you know lord we have sinned against you but you can restore us because you promise if we turn back to you you can restore us so like the word of god is very clear especially in this scripture and like this this is a, an engineer you know and later on he becomes like the governor mm-hmm. you know he takes a step because he has rank mm-hmm. and he says you know what i can do something about this mm. i cannot do much but yeah. what i can do is i can pray for my country yeah. you know i can go before god and cry and weep before god because god is the one who keeps covenant so even in our country right now the only way we as christians as people of understanding we can do if we are very patriotic not we don't only pray when we have elections yeah you know to avert a crisis mm. we pray for god to keep the nation mm-hmm. from crisis yeah. before it starts not only when we like we see it, uh, there are some people call it fire brigade prayers <laughs> like <laughs> like you only wait for the fire to come then you start you know it's just freaking water on it you yeah. know like why don't you uh, like avert the whole situation before it starts mm. by just being so patriotic to the you know to the 
to the country to the to the extent that when you see the walls being broken like our walls are being broken right now by corruption mm, yeah. by you know our our, our education system mm. you know our moral uh, standings are, are being yeah. philosophically also being um, our walls are also breaking mm. we have atheists in Kenya mm. oh yeah yeah yesterday yeah. that was 19 Yes. Uh, they had the uh, months uh, th- this month's conference yes. okay i'm not, i'm not here to bash them mm. i'm here to pose a challenge to the christians yes. this really fast it's in between it just came to my mind and you just mentioned it yes. uh, yesterday you might have seen the designs that we put up about mm. the t-shirts that we uh, you know we're doing the different designs yes. that speak the message of christ yes. that speak the message of the bible that speak yes. the message that is of god yes. and you find that just go to their instagram just search atheist in kenya yes. it's not a sin to check out what they're doing <laughs> yes. go and Instagram check out what they're doing like yes. every month they have like three meetings every month yes. every month that is yeah. 12 months in a year you know they're soliciting for funds and for people fans, are yeah. people are contributing are contributing they're printing yeah. t-shirts yeah. that have words yeah. that are just absurd yes no as much as it might be absurd it's put, pushing an agenda man yeah, yeah. you know they are patriotic to their cause my friend <laughs> <laughs> they are patriotic to their belief yes. you know i just saw at they did a t-shirt last year yes. uh saying smile yeah. there is no hell and then what? yeah that is what they said and then yes. this this year um yes. they did a t-shirt said um seriously yeah. there is no, no god. god yeah i remember that i saw that one that is what they're doing and that is what that is happening yes. out there yeah. and you know as much as we you know verse 11 is very nice yes. I, i like what is said yes. um O oh Lord I beseech thee let now thy ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant yes. and to the prayer of thy servant who yes. desire to fear, fear thy, thy name, name and prosper yes. I pray thee thy servant this day yes. and grant him mercy yes. in the sight of this man yes. for I was the king's cupbearer yes. now listen he's not only saying that you know what I have this power I can yes. do this he's yes. asking God to give him the power to yes. do it to do it yeah. you know God will intervene but yes. will not intervene all. he needs a man yes. he needs to use a man yes. and now when when he uses us Yes. to bring such you know such such things into the world and yes. even for the market out there yes. when you see you know there are t-shirts that are going out there yeah. we, are, we are giving it, we are, we are selling them yeah. at this price just use it you don't know who you reach out to yeah true you ju- yeah. you just do something excellent for the yes. kingdom at yes. the end of it all we always say here at core 66 it's about the excellence it's yes. not perfection yes. it's, it's excellence, excellence yeah. do something that is excellent when he died on the cross that was excellent yes. he did it excellent excellently yes. you know yeah. Yeah. he just went from the first phase to the last phase yes. to make sure you and I are free. Yes. So don't take it lightly when you see you know what they're posting these and that and all you can do is bash them yeah, on social, say, ah, these people, social ah. media and say you know what you people are liars yeah, and whatever listen. What are you doing to Man, counter that other, other than talking about exactly, social media? Exactly huh? because yeah. these guys they you know that is why even it sh- it pushes us to do designs every day every single day every yeah. single day because they do them yeah. they do them from their side and yeah. it's suggestive communication yes, yeah. you know they keep on pumping this into your head yes. when it goes on for a while one day you wake up and you're like yeah you wake up an atheist <laughs> you wake up and you're like you know what yeah. i've been seeing like 11 posts yes. from the atheist in kenya yeah. and two posts from Uh, from the Christians, from the, Christians. Yeah. the 11 from the atheists in Kenya have like a million messages yes, yeah. on why God is not there yes. and the, the, and the Christians, Christians can there. only say God yeah. is good yes, yeah. <laughs> God is loving man next year you're going to have yeah. a car next year you're going to have a car God bless you, you this is your year of yeah. prosperity by the end of this year may please, God surprise you with that please in the house. you know do do something more than just talk yeah. and typing on your social media yeah walk around with something that is branded Jesus. Yes. Let's see what the reaction is. Yes. You know, uh, we, are you confident enough to do it? Exactly. Yes, that is you? the question. <laughs> I, I, I remember when we used to walk around with Team Jesus t-shirt. Yes, t-shirt here. Yeah. It 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 spoke a lot, man. Yes. Just by that t-shirt you know people knew, okay, these guys these guys are for Jesus. Uh, for Jesus, okay. That they means are, they are yeah. this way. Right? Exactly. Yeah. They are, they are patriotic to a yes. certain cause. Yeah. It's just like walking around in the colors of Kenya. Yes. When you're in the US. Yes. You have you ever wondered why people go to the US and they wear our colors? Yeah, exactly. It's because ra- at, at home we don't feel it like it's a big thing. Yeah. What? It's our flag. Yeah. Go to America wear something that is Kenyan mm. that is a trademark. Yeah, be patriotic love your nation. I have a flag yeah. of Kenya. I usually walk with it every single place I go. I have it in my bag. It never leaves my bag. It, it always just reminds me of who I am and where I come from and Well, I'll, I'll tell you the now. truth. People think he's Jamaican <laughs> because of his dreads and they start saying <laughs> yeah, man. And then they're like lion. <laughs> I like no Kenya see flag all right <laughs> now nah, you know lion you, you know jala <laughs> bomba clat bomba clat
without this without, yeah, without this six segment, segment yeah. without this segment we cannot imagine what our nation would be if we don't have people who really love the nation yeah especially people love the king and the country yes and that is people of faith mm. right you find that most most activists are not christians mm-hmm. i don't know why but the irony of that is 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 just baffling my mind because we are the ones who are supposed to be very um we're supposed to be very patriotic to our nation because you understand it is a gift from god because the bible says in the book of is, is it acts it says that uh, god determines where we are born so us being born in kenya is not an accident mm-hmm. and so that means we need to cherish that and we need to fight for our nation and so you can imagine a nation that is that has citizens that are not patriotic mm-hmm. that is how things like corruption are very rampant you know why because people don't cherish the nation they can use the funds the way they want mm-hmm. that's why you know our moral gates are being taken down every single day our education system mm-hmm. uh, we have not done any any sort of improvement in our education systems yes. right the leaders that we elect we don't elect them because we love the nation we elect them because of tribalism because yeah. they come from our tribe not yeah. because this person can build you know our nation is is it from a tribe okay that is going to fly you know it's not about the love for the country yes. you know and so you can imagine our society will be completely in chaos because we will not have people really cherish and love the nation yes you know yeah, yeah without, without patriotism there is there is a lot of disgust even yes. in the society mm-hmm. this past week i was talking a long time friend back from primary school uh, she did law specifically the children law she was telling me she has handled disgusting cases within the past few months mm-hmm. the most epic one was when a family came in a, a daughter a mother and a father mm-hmm. and the case was that the daughter is sleeping with the father and the father is actually defending the daughter and the daughter is like okay with it and the mother is the one that provides for the family and they're not hiding it it's just out there wow. and now they get to a point where they chase the mother that out of the house you know sick. that is that is just that totally is demented that is sick. that is that, that is, is something sick. that i could not even think i was like how do you guys even handle that and she was telling me some cases you know mm. they are just so disgusting yes. you start thinking of the moral decay in the our moral society decay in our and you're like society, what yeah. For her, it's just crazy. Being a young lady, mm. you know, she's not even handling married herself, things, handling yeah, such yeah, stuff. Yeah. It cannot be normal if mm. you, if she gets to a point that you hear her saying that yes. she's skeptical about marriage, like, yes. well, you know, about yeah. being married yeah. and all that. And yeah, that just proves of how when we are not patriotic to the to the culture we were brought up in, yes. or even the ethnicity where yes. we were brought up in, yes. because yeah. it's just, it's humanly normal to yes. understand yeah. that incest yes. is a sin is a sin yeah understand means your yeah. blood banner yes. because now the girl actually got pregnant the, yes. the daughter so well. w- w- the child is born is, is it the father or the grandfather that is the question banner okay that's confusing exactly right. that's exactly is, is, is that the father or the grandfather right, and and, yeah. you, and you see yeah. uh, as much as it might be disgusting right yeah. now yeah. let it go on for a while it's normal it will be normal it will be normal as, you know as the united um, states of america exactly yes. it would be normal yeah. uh, what one trend i've been seeing is that when something is a crime yes. and then it's done for a while yes. and then the people tend to be when a majority is on the side of the crime yes. it becomes legal it becomes legal you know we are headed to the one of the movies we, we have watched before the purge yes. Yes. we are headed to that direction yes. and if yes. something doesn't happen in between yes. we're headed towards that direction yeah. when you're patriotic to whatever you understand and mm. what you've been brought up in yes. you get to create barriers yes. even in relationships yes. you know what this is a person that you know um we are related by blood yes and I'm patriotic to the bloodline yes. of my family. So no matter what my feelings exactly, are, exactly. I'm definitely not going to go yes. that direction. Yes, yeah. that is that is just a that is just a, a very clear depiction of what can happen mm. when you when you tend to forget about what you're devoted to. Yes. When you tend to forget this is my family. Yes. Yeah. And that is why I believe for me, I believe it's good to know all your family members. Yes. You know, you might meet somebody out there. You get True. so I've seen those movies, especially the Not Nigerian even movies. Ones. They're <laughs> real. I have a, I have a, hey, we yeah. have a testimony, right? <laughs> you show up, you show up, you know, and then you you see somebody that you've never seen before in your life mm-hmm. and you're like, mm, "Okay, you know, uh, yeah. And then let all you have a shot. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> let all you're like what my cousin yak that's like, oh, yeah that's, you know yeah, yeah so, so you yeah, guys just yeah. watch out and what i was saying is that uh, mm-hmm. the the beauty of it is that 
he prayed to God Nehemiah, the that he may yeah. be used. Yes. Yeah. That he may be used, that he may g- be given that ability and that, um, you know, that favor yes. even mm. to address the king. Yes. Because he was the king's cupbearer. Cup bearer, you yes. see. Yeah. So we, we need to pray for the ability to be yes. pioneers of such yes. such yes. movement. Yes. God yeah. cannot come down. You know, I saw I saw posts, I don't know who did this. Yeah. And they said, you know what, if God was so angry about whatever, whatever, why did, did he why doesn't he come, come down and uh, himself you know, yeah. uh, himself and mm. settle whatever mm. but you need to understand that god uses men yeah and that's how that happened you all crucified him right yeah, remember yeah. exactly the last time he came you know you said he was not he god. was not god <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you crucified up again. Him. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. so uh, yeah, for what reason yeah. if I'm, going, go, I'm going to use you yes that is yeah. why he made disciples you yes, see yeah. so he'll use you and you need to pray towards that direction yes. that he may use you yes. you know to towards that he may give you boldness mm. even to handle this you know I'm, I'm only thinking if this activist that we have in kenya yes. had the ability to pray to god yes. for guidance yes amount of, of progress they would have done yes. if you want to see a good activist like a really good activist mm. check out jesse morrell yes now jesse morrell is an activist yes. my friend <laughs> that guy's that, fired that, up that guy's fired that up, guy is like, fired like, up check like it, crazy, especially right? on facebook yes. you'll find his videos my friend <laughs> that guy is just just fired up yeah. he, he he literally takes yes. permits yes. to go and preach on the streets yes and he's next to the police he has the permit to yes. to, to speak, yeah, exactly, to speak yeah. his mind yes, yeah. now that is an activist you yes, see yeah. and he has the backing was of god changed, yeah. <laughs> he was changed yeah, a lot of yeah. people yeah, true. you know and yeah. and you just desire the backing of god when yes. god backs you up yeah. my friend he'll give you wisdom yes. and you'll operate in those offices and they'll be okay what just happened yeah what just happened man <laughs> who was that guy yeah yeah talking of keeping it a hundred alongside the current affairs mm-hmm. let me just start by saying this outright governor sonko should be thrown to prison mm-hmm. literally <laughs> and locked up <laughs> you know why so this is what happened the other week <laughs> the governor of Kiambu was Waititu. 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 So, <laughs> Waititu. <laughs> Baba yao. Songo has saved him as yes. Waititu. So, <laughs> <laughs> it has a you. Dude, but I'm not, I'm not saying he gets thrown to prison because of misspelling the, 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 the name. This is much more serious. So the other week, there were some demolitions going on in the mm-hmm. capital city. Mm-hmm. And it turns out the governor of Kiambu now, mm-hmm. Waititu, comes up and says, you know, don't demolish this house. <laughs> Move reverse. <laughs> <laughs> man, this guy went beyond the mountains. That is not faith. I don't know what that is, man. That is that is faith, faith, maybe, faith. Maybe. <laughs> He's using feathers to remove rivers. Man. You never know. Maybe the Chinese can pull can pull off that ha. that, that shit. Hey, but he said, you know what? Don't don't demolish the houses. He was just say because the river passes close to the houses. So instead of demolishing the houses, why don't you just move? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why did you just remove the rivers? Songesha. <laughs> Songesha Mto. Songesha Mto Kiasi. But then, a few days later, we realized the reason why he was trying to, like, avert the demolitions. The demolition, uh-huh. So, the wife gets arrested. Mm. Sonko calls Waititu. I don't call it leaked because I think this guy did it deliberately. Mm-hmm. He calls Waititu, and then he records it. Excellency. Mm-hmm. Hello, mama. Sawa my brother. Hiyo ni order from above. Mimi nawachilia mama, hiyo mama anavunja sheria. Hiyo order, hiyo order itoki kwangu inatoka kwa mdosi huko juu. Wewe pigia mdosi, pigia mdosi. Order imetoka juu boss. Ukuja nikupea approval. Ukiwa free. Ah, wacha nijaribu. 
waachilia watu wote bwana wale wewe sisi bado fika wakusumbuana na wewe haya sasa sawa sisi bwana wewe tunasumbuana tu sio mimi boss boss sio mimi sio mimi mama nawaachilia sasa hii waachilia paka hiyo watu wengine wangu waje waendelee na kazi yao haya Ochanda Ochanda iko namna gani? Ndio ndio mashaa. Wewe ndio umeshika hiyo watu eh? Eh. Haya, na ndikuwa naonelea huyo mama, umeshika bibi yake, first lady. Eh eh, tunamleta lakini huyo ametuambia. Hebu hebu mpatie mama tuongee naye. Hello. Your excellency. Eh? Pole pole sana, ni governor Songo hapa. Yes. Pole pole your excellency. Wacha wacha unaachiliwa. Okay. Unaachiliwa sasa alafu Uh, uh, nasema alafu u apply approvals eh? ni makosa kujenga bila plans tutakupatia na sasa ni watu wangu wa conduct governor hiyo uh, hiyo kuna order imetoka kuna hiyo order governor yes your excellency nasema aje governor yes kuna approvals imelipiwa lakini azija azija pitish azija 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 pitish lakini vile nitafanya hiyo order imetoka juu si kwangu imetoka huko juu So mimi hata mimi navunja sheria. Na, na, nasema yu, na, nasema your excellency hiyo order imetoka kule juu. But mimi navunja sheria na kuachilia wewe. Au wengine nimwambia mzee apige apige huko juu. E, unajua hapo tuko na polisi. Na polisi wachukui direction wachukui instructions kwangu. But wewe nimesema sasa hii uachiliwe kuache sasa hii sasa hii sasa hii utoke. Haya. Eh mtu wangu nimwambia kuache. Ochanda. Mwandikie Kashbel. Ya kama mwandikie Kashbel ya kama ngiri kumi. Sawa sawa sawa. Alafu ambiwe bado tuna investigate. Lakini hao wengine sitaki wote. Wajue wajue kujenga bila approval ni hatutaki. Uh, sawa sawa. hawana approval eh? Hawana, hawana. Kwa hotel kwa building zote mbili. Watu tu wapeleka nani mshimo? Eh hata hiyo jamii bora ni gorofa ngapi wanaenda juu? Gorofa iko kwa nane. sio hapana. Hiyo kama kama wanafiki wacha yaribika tu wazicheke janga gorofa 8 CBD bila approval. Hiyo hapana bibi bibi wachilia. Because bibi bibi sio contractor bibi wachilia. I've received orders from above mm. kutoka juu kutoka juu <laughs> kutoka juu <laughs> kuachilia mama. A god are you the one who did that? <laughs> <laughs> the only guy from juu you know is Jesus but What makes this even like very serious even to us the reason why I'm saying Sonko should be arrested is because in the video he says uh that is above me I've just been told to release your wife mm. not the other guys and I'm not doing this because it is it is legal in fact I'm breaking the law ah okay. he said this he said I'm breaking the law by letting the, your wife go uh-huh. for free uh-huh. but I'm doing it because it is orders from uh-huh. Kutoka Ju So I'm like wait dude so you know you're breaking the law yeah. but you're doing it but because doing it. <laughs> somebody from above has told you which I believe is our president <laughs> so the governor if the governor can break the law because of a phone call because these people if these people are building this this big houses i don't know it is how many stories building if if, if they're building these houses without permit Number one, you can know how dangerous that is because maybe they've not reached the standards of even yeah. even the buildings yeah. themselves, you know. And you have the audacity to try to paint yourself as the good person in the story. You know what me I'm just trying to do what what, what nini we are trying to fight corruption we, and we're trying to tell him listen, we were songo so najua tumetoka mbali bwana. If I was my tito I'd tell him, "Awacha mama akae huko. You know what? We should move the prison." <laughs> <laughs> Move the prison away from your wife. <laughs> don't don't touch my wife. Move the prison away from my wife. <laughs> you know. <laughs> But this is just the level of 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 like corruption that we have got. In fact, it it gets even worse. Mm-hmm. So he hangs up with uh Waititu and then calls um one of the police officers that had arrested the wife mm-hmm. and then tells him um sasa wewe wachilia mama mm-hmm. na umwandikie bill ya kitu kama ngiri kumi hivi mm. what <laughs> even he dictates the he bail. dictates the bail hey. do you know how serious that is 
And that's what I'm telling you. This person should be thrown. Should be. Th- I don't even know thrown where. This person. I don't care how good things Sonko is doing. Yeah, yeah. But you don't. You. Your bad. Your good deeds are not going to nullify your bad deeds. Yeah. If you're going to stand for change, if you're going to stand for change, and and you're going to fight corruption, then fight it as, as wherever it appears. Yeah. If orders come from you, tell them I'm the governor. If mm-hmm. you want to remove them, you go remove them. But for me, I'm not going to break the law for your sake. Yeah, it's like these guys owe each other favor, and so whatever you know, anything needs to be to be done out you know outside of the law, they have they're comfortable. They can do it. If you can yeah. call a police officer and tell the police officer his work, what to do, <laughs> this is completely sick. This person should be arrested. I don't even yeah. know why he's still the governor of, of Nairobi. Nobody's above the law. These people are not patriotic to this nation. They keep on appearing on your on your televisions and they say you know what sisi tutabadilisha oh we, we change this we are the people of change we do this i'm doing this as the governor i'm doing this mm. and the media the media also just goes ahead and just you know puts these things outside they are never give even the media itself does not give us like information on the own on yeah the so sold out things. man you know all these people can tell the media even the media itself they can tell you know so the day we come to your media stations, you, you all won't find it funny, by the way. I'm just saying. So be very careful. Just it's, saying, not okay. it's, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. It's a cartel. You all are cartels. The governor of, 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 of Nairobi is a cartel. Me, I'm patriotic to this nation. I won't, I mean, dude, Sunapanda Gagari. Mm. And every single stop, the police gets the bribe. Yeah, and sometimes I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, my goodness, like, what can I even do about this situation? <laughs> like, it is so open, it's everybody's so open. comfortable about yeah. it. Yeah, you know. And, and let's let's not let's not paint it on the on the police officers only. Y'all drivers, Every, you drivers, you drivers, you know what police. you're doing. Yeah, exactly. you know, uh, especially in this one matter, we, yes. we 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 boarded, yes. and they needed to carry extra people yes. because these extra people are the one who pay for the police. <laughs> They're the one who pay the bribe. In fact, they go on and aga sara because yes. wanachukua kato ile kawaida. He ope ya juu excess ina kwa kulipa makarao. He ina kwa kulipa makarao. So from the yes. police and also from the from the public, yes. y'all are involved. Yes, you're all involved. We are all guilty. Yeah, we're, we're all, all guilty. guilty. We're all guilty. I think that is 120. That's 120. <laughs> that is a throw t- Governor Sonko in prison. Yeah. Arrest the guy, charge him with corruption, charge him for breaking the law, and take him to prison. I don't care who he is. Yeah, his yes. um, his patriotic battery is low. Charge him. <laughs> charge him. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any question, any comment, if you're pissed off about our comments, please let us know because we really don't care about your feelings. We don't like pieces. We don't. <laughs> we keep it a hundred. We keep it a hundred. That's just a hundred. Yeah. Now moving on to. Musical. 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 Yeah, man. Yeah. So today we are just breaking down a certain movie we saw some time back. Mm-hmm. Uh, that this, just this this is long overdue actually. Yeah, this is long overdue. It has it it has been in our mind just to 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 do something about it. But we're so, still we're still fathoming the, the <laughs> yeah that yeah the heaviness of that movie. Like th- that movie ended and you're like, <sighs> what? Why? Why? No, you're kidding, right? Why? No, it just did not end. Oh my goodness. For those who can already guess, you yes. know what you're talking, you're talking about. Talking about Drum Avengers <laughs> Infinity War. Thanos. So Thanos just messed up everyone in the field. <laughs> Our child. <laughs> Our daughter. Why, daughter? Why? Why, daughter? Yeah, man. Yeah, so Avengers Infinity was released some time back. Number one, it just broke some box office records, you know, and it, it, is, it is one amazing movie. Uh, it is a culmination of so many superheroes just come together and they just try to defend the world, which actually is not the world. They're trying to defend America. <laughs> the universe. <laughs> the universe. Actually, they're, they're defending the universe, but the fight is in America. <laughs> Funny how they go out, get away with that every single time they do a movie. <laughs> Movie saving the world, <laughs> but all that aside, the last time that they were trying to to save the whole world, they, they came to Africa. They got a kink. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I mean, like, 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 you could not kill Thor. He's yeah. been here for 150 years. <laughs> 1,500 years. Why, did Why you would you come, come to and Africa and mess kill, up everything? Kill this dude. You know, he's so young. Yeah, exactly. Boswick Chadwick is here. He's, he's young. Why did you kill? Why did you kill him? He doesn't even have, I have an afro as big as mine, <laughs> my friend. Spoiler alerts for those who have not watched it. But of course, right, by, by now, everybody has watched if Avengers Infinity War. Avengers after like four, ah, four months. Ah, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I was looking at it like from this perspective, huh? Thanos says, uh, because he appears, Thanos is villain in the movie, mm. everybody's trying to fight him. To him, he's totally convinced he's doing this for a good cause. Yes. Because he says he's trying to save the universe. <laughs> and, it's, and by doing so, he's saying, you know, but he's very patriotic to the yes. universe, apparently. Yes. yes. And by saving the universe, the only way he can do that is kill half of the people in the universe. Mm. But now, for him Population. to do that, <laughs> eh, the whole of the, the of half, half of the universe, of the universe, mm. just get wiped away. And you see that at the end of the movie because every people start to disappear. You know, so many of our superheroes, including the king of Wakanda. <laughs> Why did you do that? You know, if you watch the Black Panther. Uh, the other kings of you know the other black panthers yeah they did not want to open up what exactly they, they didn't, want, they didn't to. want to and now i get the reason why exactly <laughs> <laughs> that is even even baku <laughs> baku says it the general the general he says I, I i didn't think this was what we are we we, we were looking forward yeah. to when you said you're going to open a country to the rest then, of the world i think of starbucks or like yeah. something of the olympics <laughs> you know not the old. <laughs> Hey, Mutura. <laughs> Mutura from Kenya and then yeah. he brought them Thanos yeah but, uh, exactly this is also you know as much as it is like patriotism to the universe it is like extreme yeah it is extreme yeah. in the sense because the Bible also says you know a righteous man avoids all extremes, all extremes. Mm. so as much as you're also patriotic we should not go to the extreme yes. of it the message of Christ is also kind of portrayed here <laughs> in a very cunning way because yeah. you remember Christ also died but Christ did not sacrifice other people Yes. Christ died himself. Himself, exactly. He sacrificed him, he sacrificed himself for the rest of the world. And so as much as we are being patriotic, the risk, you know, yes. the freedom of other people, you know, the freedom, you know, uh now because I'm patriotic to my Christianity, I should kill you. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Uh, and for the Christians that were watching, yes. uh, or if you haven't watched, let me give you a reason to watch. Mm. In every movie, there is always a code. Yes. There's always a word. Yes. I believe that is what I have understood. Yes. Uh, there is that scene where Thanos has to sacrifice Gamora. Gamora yeah. is the daughter, yeah. adopted, the adopted, adopted daughter, yeah. and it's a sacrifice of love. Yes. Now, funny enough, and very very coincidental, yeah. they are going to. He, he needs to sacrifice Gamora yeah. to get the soul, soul stone. stone yeah. You know, it took a soul, and this yeah. this like word for word, <laughs> a soul for a soul. Uh, in fact, they say a soul for a soul. A soul for a soul. Yeah. That is in that your is, scriptures, that man. Is, that is exactly the two what Christ worldview. did. Yeah. Yeah. Christ did sacrifice a soul for a soul. Yes. A sacrifice of love. Of love. Remember John 3, 16, love. for God so love loved the, the world. world. You see, gave his yeah. Son. yeah. So you you see the clear depiction of what Christ did yes. at the cross. Yes. Exactly what Christ did for the for the for the world. Yes. So uh Christians, priests, on easy V2. Enjoy now in Guinea. Firamu ni za shetani ho IMAX CG 3D ho Yuzo 3D zinamanisha nini kwa nzi kwe tatu Consipera isi ya curious bana Muta tumaliza bana Muta tumaliza And also um, For the music beat uh, For those who are fans yes. Of good worship music uh, Yeah Dr. Amazing Tumi is a, is a South African retired doctor Who is now a singer yeah. Beautiful worshipper Beautiful yeah. worshipper Last year he did a beautiful album uh, Speak a word that had amazing songs but i still haven't heard enough of that album mm. we in the house are still just going around with it but now he's doing a new album yes. uh gathering of worshipers mm. it's a beautiful beautiful album as well but i can say that from his new song that he recently released wafika mm. wafika song speaks about uh you know god has come down his presence has come down to mm. us mm. it's just like welcoming the presence of god yes. in our midst it's a beautiful song uh check it out and also check out his past records and his past music is just amazing yes. beautiful beautiful songs banner mm. so yeah i'll check them out and check him out and uh, enjoy yeah be blessed man amen yeah amen you all get back to us for the feedback and all that we'd love yeah, to yeah i've actually received some feedback yes. today yeah. uh from instagram mm. and i got a few inboxes asking if uh they might share whatever we put up mm. share the designs on their stories and even share out there mm. i told them yeah yeah it's fine mm. even you who is listening out there you can take the designs from our social media they're for free mm. you're not charging them yeah. it's not an event yes they're for free it's the word of god the word of god whoever it reaches the 
let it reach there. Freely we are given, yeah. so freely we will we, 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 give. We, we, exactly. We yeah, yeah. yeah, so uh, and also the t-shirts, that is why even the t-shirts came into place, yes. the idea of the t-shirts came into place. Get get the message of Christ printed in your shirt, mm. um, maybe hoodie or even your your your, your, your ski cap. Yes. Ski cap ni Marvin. Uh, your ski cap, nasema ski cap kwa sabu ya the international audience that is wanaskiza. Wasem sinyangushe. Your ski cap. <laughs> your ski cap, get them printed your ski yes. cap. Your, your, you know, your uh, wa Kenya para. Para. Yeah, on your cap. <laughs> <laughs> your cup yeah you know get them printed uh you yeah. just give us a call yeah. we have our numbers on the design yeah. that we did yesterday yeah. uh our numbers are just out there you yeah. know you can just reach out to us or write to us or even in our social media inboxes yes. yeah. and we'll make sure to just uh, do your design yes. however way you want it it's yeah. only a thousand bob yes. for a t-shirt i guess for a hoodie or any other merchandise you might need we shall give you the feedback that you desire yeah but thank you for the feedback you yeah. share them share the designs as much as possible yes. uh, as far as you can mm. yeah and god will bless you yes and also share this podcast uh we record it every single mondays like today so the monday version of it the original version of it is on monday and then the video the youtube version of it is on friday yeah friday's on youtube yeah. so please share these things with your friends with your families with your groups with your school members and your mates and all those kind of things and i uh, will really appreciate it. and if you want to support our ministry in one way or another yeah. number one pray for us if you want to support us in any other way please feel free all right mm-hmm. feel free and then come to the event that we're having on the first of september first yes. september first mm-hmm. uh uh, city on a hill because i believe there's so much that god wants to speak uh even to this generation about being a light and also being um, um, a salt a flavor to the earth because in this uh, decaying generation where there's a lot of things that are going on in our society very many things very very many things uh, very many things are vague Yes. Very many and get things. passed by, yeah, get ignored. Many, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, uh, you know, you just look by a lot of things. You say, ah, well, it's not clear, so I'd mm. rather stay about, um, stay, stay away from it. Mm. Uh, so um, you just make your way to City on a Hill. Yes. Uh, get your tickets uh, from our numbers. Um, you can get your tickets. You'll enjoy some art, of yes. course, mm. and then you'll get to discuss, ask questions, and even propose ideas. Yes. Propose ideas because we are after that. We're not only looking forward to having just events. We need conferences. Yes. We need we need you know just um uh, engagement uh, platforms yeah we symposiums can just, yeah, people talk, just come and yes. just talk you know get to ex- express whatever it is they they want they feel like and uh, you know just go beyond the normal uh it's a christian event yes. we get to hear some good poetry and then we go home just knowing that hey, nani ni mkali, so and so is good but you can actually sit down and talk these things out yes. mm. you know we can actually decide to do an expose on every piece that we hear in a night yes. we can hear just yes. two pieces yes. and do an expose on those two, on pieces, those two pieces you know yeah. like what was in this person's mind yes. and they get to explain to us and express to us whatever they felt mm. while they were doing the piece so yeah mm. make your way to city on a hill september 1st uh, call us to get your tickets reserved yes. and uh, get your seats reserved and any other inquiries that you might have and we shall be sure to do that for you mm-hmm. thank yeah, you man. so very much guys for listening i've been your host jr yeah and i've been your host jk uh get us on our social media and we've 66. been joy yeah j-o-y and joy <laughs> it's been more <laughs> It's it's today we did we did get any friends i'm i'm feeling like we, we're incomplete you know <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for listening What's and up? for those who will be listening from youtube thank you guys for watching too so have a blessed time until next monday adios adios, adios. adios.